Hi, welcome to Splash and Go. I'm Nate Ryan here with Kyle Petty. And Kyle, talking about the top two finishers Sunday at Sonoma Raceway, Martin Truex Jr. wins the race. Kyle Busch finishes second. Both are teammates at Joe Gibbs Racing. Both now have four wins on the season. So they both drive for the same team. They both lead the series with four victories. Who do you think is having the better season, Martin Truex Jr. or Kyle Busch? Interesting question. Um, off the top of my head, I say Martin Truex. And, and this is why. I think we go back to, uh, to last year. And at this point in time, we were talking about the big three. Right. It, we right. have to throw, you know, um, Which is Kevin. now the big two this now year. Now it's the big two. Yeah. But, but Kevin's kind of dropped off. Uh, they still have speed. They just are making mistakes, I think, sometimes. But it's these two guys. But the obstacle for Truex, and this is the reason I say he's having the best year, is I've said it. I, I thought it would take him a lot longer right. to fit into corporate America. You know what I mean? For, for Cole, Cole Pern to come in and work in a cubicle, you know what I mean? <laughs> and for them to work in a structured environment. Right. I really thought it would take them longer. I, I really did. I did not see them being this successful right off the bat, even though it was Joe Gibbs racing. So I think they had to overcome a change of culture and a change of philosophy, maybe, structure uh, to fit how they, how they perform. Uh, into somebody else's box, and they've done a tremendous job. So I think, especially over the last four or five weeks, I think that Truex and Cole have hit their stride there, and, and I think they've had the best. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I, I feel like you, you have to grade on a curve yeah. when you consider what Truex has done. He had a little bit of a slow start, but he's won four of the past eight. I mean, obviously, Kyle Busch, the numbers say, points-wise, he's yeah. second. He's got 15 top tens and 16 races, yeah. which is phenomenal, but I think an argument could be made either way. Yeah, and, and, and you look at Kyle, and once again, I, I think Kyle, I, I will say this, I do believe we're getting, we used to have the Jimmy Johnson syndrome, where if Jimmy run fifth, it was like, well, big deal. Right, right. It's Jimmy Johnson, man, he should run fifth. What are you talking about? You right. know what I mean? If Jimmy wins the championship, big deal. He should win the championship. So you grade Jimmy against himself. I think we're getting into that with Kyle Busch, where we're just looking at Kyle and we're grading him against himself. Mm -hmm. um, and, and if he doesn't do any, something that's really spectacular, you know, so he's got 15 top 10s out of 16 races. Big deal. Right. Kyle Busch would have 16 out of 16. Right, right, you right, know right, what right, I mean? right. It's that kind of that thing. So I think sometimes we don't, we're going to get into it if we don't watch, we'll get into the same, the same mode where we don't give him credit for what he right. is doing. He gets uh, penalized for he gets, his success. Yeah, he gets penalized for his success. And, Good way to put it. Yeah, and he is a phenomenal driver, but you look at what Martin Truex Jr. now has done on road courses. He's now got three yeah. wins at Sonoma. He's won at Watkins Glen. Somebody reminded me yesterday, he won the first race at Mexico City, going all the way back to 2005 in the Xfinity Series. So he's always been a good road racer, but it, you know, maybe as much as Kyle Busch is, is sometimes penalized for being so good, yeah we forget and underrate Martin Truex Jr. and how good he is as a driver as well. And, and it's funny. I think, I think we forget how versatile Kyle or Martin Truex right, is. Yes. Right. Um, when, when you look at that, I forget how good a road racer he is. It is. It's easy to get lost. You know, we go, we still go to these places. It's like Jeff Gordon had 975 wins at Sonoma. You know what right. I mean? I mean, that, that's false. That's false, people. That's an exaggeration. <laughs> but you know what I mean? So who's the greatest road racers of all time? And you throw out Tim Richmond and you throw out... Uh, Jeff Gordon and those guys. Truex is putting up numbers that rank uh, along with those guys. Right. Um, and, and I don't think we pay attention to that. Truex's Achilles seems to be Daytona and Talladega. Mm -hmm. when, when I look at, at, at the being the more rounded driver, I think Kyle is still the more rounded driver because he's, he's in the mix everywhere we go. Truex still hasn't risen up to that to that point where you say, okay, it's Talladega, we got to watch that 19 car. Yeah. You know, it's Daytona, we got to watch Truex. Um, but still, I, I think what he's done is it's it's amazed me because he was just Martin Truex until about a year ago, year yeah. and a half ago, yeah. and then he became the Martin Truex Jr. You know what I mean? He yeah. became a superstar. And it seems like since the 2017 championship, yes. he's yeah. been a different driver. And I agree, totally he definitely belongs in the conversation. Maybe one of the greatest road course drivers now. Yeah, ever. I believe so. Yeah. All right, well, certainly Chicagoland Speedway this weekend, NBC picking up the schedule. Kyle yes. Busch, the defending winner of that race, by the way, Martin Truex Jr., also a top five finisher last year. So be watching for that. You should be watching NASCAR America weekdays, 5 p.m. on NBCSN. Thanks for watching Splash and Go.
Hey, motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.